Hi Aquarius, so I'm here to do the last half of October um, with the full moon energies that's happening on Halloween, so exciting times. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, on my last videos, I added a donation button um, due to the fact that uh, me and my children are under eviction at the minute. Um, so we need to find somewhere else. Um, so I'm working my hardest to keep the channel going as well as my uh, full-time readings. Um, so all my stuff is going to be in the description box below, uh, my website for how you can book personal readings. I do have a 31% off the two questions um, at the minute, that is until Halloween. Uh, and the donation uh, button will be at the bottom of, of the description box as well. So again, I really want to say thank you. I really, really appreciate um, the donations that I received, no matter how small you know it's nice to uh be given that energy so i am going to jump straight in for aquarius so we are in mercury retrograde still so come out of that um uh, around the third or fourth of november i think um i know i don't know why i wanted actually i didn't mention it in oh well, i mentioned it in scorpios so it could be affecting you so I'm starting with the spiritual tarot first um, and then I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross with the Angel Oracle deck and clarifying with the Witch's Tarot. So Aquariuses. So situation, foundations and achievements. So it is about the home, it's about relationships, it's about family, it's about your foundations. We are in 2020, which is a four year. So that's the situation. So what's challenging for my Aquarius Aquariuses? Partnerships and alliances. So your challenge is letting go of acquaintances type thing. Um, the challenge is about who you can trust because partnerships and alliances coming up is, is a challenge. I feel like some of my queries is if you need to ask, if you need to ask for help, you need to ask for help. Especially if it's regarding like a home environment. The challenge could be the partnerships within the home. So let's have a look. Why is this coming right now for my Aquariuses? Options, choose wisely. So you're at a time where you're, you're having to make some kind of life-changing decisions towards the end of this year. I feel like you're making life-changing decisions Um about home life, about you, you, you know, about relationships, partnerships, friends, friendships. I've got a green orb on me, I think it's the mirror. So spiritually recent past. Some of my Aquarius says it's almost like you sat there not knowing which way to go. Recent past, we've got passion ignited. So there is like a passion, there's a passion coming out. Something that is bringing this like newfound passion, which could be making you question your other relationships, your other partnerships and things like that. Um, take it as it resonates. Because at present you're ready for a new beginning. So I could be talking to Aquarius that have recently had a split and you are ready for a new beginning now it's like to close that door why is it coming around because you've got options now so you need to choose wisely and how you behave how you react how you um take yourself forward into the next partnerships that type of thing near future near future aquarius the will of destiny will start spinning in your favour. So again, I do feel like a, a lot of my Aquariuses are either sat there or I've been sat there not knowing where you're going, constantly on this like journey of trying to find yourself and you keep being going round in circles. You know, it's like being in the washing machine totally on spin. Just as you feel like you find yourself, phew, we go again, lose yourself, find yourself, lose yourself, find yourself. It's time to find yourself. So it's time to... Be secure and stable within your own foundations and achievements. 
your power in the situation, well, that's probably why I'll mention in Mercury retrograde, we've got the magician there. So it's awareness. So your power is to become aware of what is going on. It, so then you can manifest better things. It's time for new beginnings. It's time for manifestations of a new life. Um, I do feel like it's been very challenging with the Choose Wisely card. So it could have been your behaviour. It could have been other people's behaviour. I keep wanting to say behaviour. Um, so your power is to manifest. It's to become aware of what is going on in your life. I keep flying. Outside influence to that is third eye chakra. So the third eye chakra is starting to open. So you are becoming aware. You third eye chakra is about seeing the bigger picture of things why things have had to happen so i do feel a lot of turbulence in this reading like going around in circles type energy but you're coming out of that because you're seeing the bigger picture of things it's time you're becoming aware your third eye chakra is about to open wide up you know sometimes that could be an odd thing because then we've got to look at herself um look at our own behaviors see i keep getting behavior hopes or fears we've got a spiritual union so this could work out both ways. You could be wanting to bring in a soulmate and a new spiritual union. Or the fear is, with it being the challenge, the partnership being the challenge, you could fear losing a soulmate relationship. But we have, we can have many soulmates. Your outcome of love begins. So whatever effort you put in, Spirit are going to put in for you to start a brand new stream. So there's a new stream within self-love. There's a new stream within lo love in general. Um, it is all about self-love, like um, a more balanced approach to love. I feel like you're realising what love actually is with this. Because the Wheel of Destiny has been in your favour. I really, I, I do like it. You've got 111. You might want to check that out. Fear angel numbers. So 111 is about manifestation as well. So Aquarius. My Celtic spread for my Aquarius. What's the situation? The four of water. So feeling that like you're missing out on an opportunity. You could be missing someone. It could be a past soulmate energy or someone you thought was a soulmate energy. Uh, you need to open your eyes to the possibilities. So the Four of Cups, you, there is a blessing coming in. You're just not seeing it just yet. We are in 2020, which is the four year. So the challenge now is the Eight of Earth. It's to do the work because skilled work will be rewarded. Learn all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. So it's the Eight Cycle. So you're relearning everything. The challenge is to get there. It's, the challenge is to put the work in. I do feel like you're going to be, I, I kept getting like a mirror. So it's almost like you're looking at your own, yourself, how you behaved or how things could have been different, that type of thing. Like you could be reminiscing quite a lot. Um, it's almost like there's, a, there's mirror work needed to be done. Like can you fully stand in front of a mirror and say, I love you? Because you are on a journey of love, which is self-love as well. The, the the love within yourself is is way more important than the love of other people. Yeah, we all like to be loved by other people. But when you finally come into that power where you love yourself, you're going to bring in those people that love you through you truly are anyway. It's like drop the facade um, and look in the mirror. Take a good look in the mirror. Do the mirror work. Do the, do the work. That's what I kind of want to say. Why is it coming around now? The eight of water. See, a desire to move on. So the eight, if you think about the number eight, it is the infinity symbol. But if you think about the number eight, I always see the lower circle as low vibrations. It's time to get into the higher vibrations. It's time to raise your vibrations. Um, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So you are going through a time of spiritual and emotional growth. That's probably where the mirror's coming in. So you're seeing yourself in a different light. Um, this is all about you, learning about you. You want something more meaningful, especially in connections. Recent past, the Queen of Air. So that that is you. You are you are the Queen of Air. 
Um, objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the human situations. So you have cleared some kind of karmic debt, some kind of karmic relationship situation, that type of thing. Uh, she's got the crystal ball, she's looking towards the future, you know. You, there could have been a lot of Aquariuses that have just had, going through like a major house clearance, you know, holding thing, you know, my crystal wall here, you know. It's like holding things in your hand. Does this resonate with me? Actually, no, been, you know. So you could be going through a cleanse within materials as well as thoughts, or you're using that to sort your thoughts out. So you could be decorating, cleansing the area where you, you reside, you know. So at present, whoa, two, I've got a flyer. So we've got King of Fire and Hermit. So we've got Fire Sand and then we've got Virgo. So we've got Communicate with Vision. So you could have already started talking to somebody. Could be Fire Sand, Leo, Sag, um, Aries. Um, and we've got Virgo as well. So... We've got the hermit, spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. To me, that is you, though. To me, there's, there's, there's two ways I could, I'm going to clarify them, but you could be talking to a Faisal now you've done the work or whilst you're doing the work. So you're realising you love yourself and you're bringing people in. But then there's also the element of the communicate with vision, to me, matching with the hermit about going in was doing the meditation and things a lot of meditation can turn into visual experiences um so you could be focusing on that so i'm going to i'm going to clarify it but i do feel like there's a lot of emotional and spiritual growth going on for aquarius especially right now and then near future we get the king of air so speak your mind with confidence speak, seek out professional advice balance mental and emotional considerations i think i just said it in your spiritual tarot if there's a need for you to um want help um with like mental and emotional situations ask for it if you need professional help ask for it you don't have to take it all on board yourself you're on you're on a journey to love yourself you're on a journey of healing here and if you need someone you need if you need help ask for it the help the help is out there there is help coming in your power in this situation Again, so they need to do research, stop procrastinating a complex decision. It's the seven of water, the seven of cups. So it's to, it's about making choices. Um, it's options. Sometimes it, it you can be spreading yourself in too many ways. It's time to pull it back in. Outside influence, the seven of earth. So seeds well planted to temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So I feel like you could be worrying about a lot that you don't need to worry about there's a there's a lot of anxiety feeling about here even though i haven't got the anxiety cards hope so fears we've got the free of fire so it's abundance things looking very good have patience at this time make long-term plans so your hope is to be abundant your hope is to be happy it's to be you know it's to get there your outcome is spiritual strength so magic number 11 um so great inner strength release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion so it's about forgiving people part, old partners soulmates and things like that and taking the lesson so where wherever there's a lesson there's always a blessing so i feel like you're going from the lesson to the blessing you're in the middle of that because you desire to move on from that situation you you now know that there's something more meaningful waiting for you um you're definitely going through it but you're coming out the other side I can promise you that. So the four of water at the minute, the queen of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, there is a very like unstable energy around you at the minute. You could be very worried about finances, worried about your stability, home wise, you know, that type of situation. So the eight of earth, we've got the seven of swords, which is the deception card. It's the sneaking illusions, you know, it's, um you're working your way through that i think you the challenge is to work your way through the things that you've been given to that weren't good for you you know 
it could be someone else's lies and cheating and you know that type of energy or are you cheating yourself were you cheating yourself out of a happy laugh and you've just kind of started realizing actually if i change if i do this that's where the mirror work comes in i could actually have that i could you know i could gun for that that could be my outcome if i do this if i take if i put the work in so about stealing from yourself you know stealing your own happiness with, because of your own thought concepts and things like that so the eight of water why is it coming around the five of pentacles so the five of pentacles is about feeling left out in the cold um so someone could have left you uh, who you thought was a soulmate you know it's about being frozen out but now there's a desire to find true you know emotional fulfillment that blocking energy whatever that energy has come in that, that's blocked you it's actually woke you up the page of swords so with the page of swords and you being the air sign you could have been your own worst enemy a little bit with you with your own thoughts uh, just let me clarify this page of swords but i do feel like someone's blocked someone because of arguing could have been you could have been them the knight of swords in reverse so it's like there's no action being taken there right now it's on pause which is a good thing looking at these because it could blow up and not be good so the queen of air recent past we've got the two of cups in reverse and we've got the four of cups again so a relationship didn't work out the way you wanted it to but you're starting to see the blessing in it in the four of cups because the four of cups is about missing out on something or missing somebody and you started to see the blessings um started to gain the lessons started to find yourself realizing that it was a, a journey of finding yourself that you shared with someone else and it's come to an end that that part has run its course so at present we've got the king of fire we've got the queen of swords in reverse so this could be the need to get out of like a bitter energy um, or get away from someone who's bitter we've got fire and we've got the, the hermit you know so it could be a fire sign but the, there's definitely like bitterness still around it so it could be bitterness after a breakup so there's a need to go inwards so we're coming, coming away from someone who's bitter or or we're holding some kind of bitterness towards that person and that's where the healing comes in with the hermit spending time in quiet meditation because your outcome is about forgiveness uh releasing harsh judgments so you could be quite naffed off with someone at the minute to be honest uh the knight of pentacles so it's going a lot slower than you thought it were but which is good because i do feel like it needs to slow down otherwise it could actually just blow up there's a lot of anger and bitterness uh i'm feeling the king of uh so we've got temperance so something will come into balance with that sign of sagittarius um i think that is the 22nd or 23rd of november to the 21st of december 22nd of december so that could be a time where we feel more balanced we've got the hanged man light bulb moments those epiphanies you know seeing through the illusions of why things had to happen i feel like there's going to be a lot of forgiveness we've got the knight of wands in reverse so you're pushing out the player energy you you're kind of keeping yourself to yourself over that period i feel and the world because you're making yourself your own world there's a more natural element there's a lot of healing going on here so the seven of water the magician so you have the power to manifest be careful what you're manifesting outside influences being the seven of earth is the high priest so god the divine the creator you know you're being given the opportunity the keys to a whole new life you could be waiting on moving you know the, there could be discussions about a house if it is a breakup you could be discussing you know the actual um materialistic part of the breakup and your outcome being the strength card is the queen of cups so that's getting getting on top of your emotions she's chilling out she's going with the floor it is that side she is the most psychic of the day you could be dealing with a water sign 
we've got six of pentacles so balance being brought in gives the money time effort so someone wants to bring balance into this situation the six of cups person from the past or it could be issues regarding children so you could have had children together and now you're having to come back together forgive each other in order for the children's benefit or in order for your own like mental health we've got the five of cups in reverse so no more regrets you're definitely coming out of an energy of like feeling sorry for yourself or uh feeling like everyone's against you because we've got the five of cups in reverse so there's no regrets you're seeing why it had to happen and the three of cups being able to celebrate things we've got the king of pentacles so you could be bringing in an earth sign after all this happens or it should be more stable the full moon is in taurus which is pentacles and uh, there's definitely some more stability coming in the ten of cups emotional fulfillment so i do like it, it looks like you're in a rocky patch at the minute but the bitterness is the bitterness is going to turn sweet i'll leave it at that so i hope that um helps someone and please if you like the video please like or subscribe to the channel Bye.